Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. Tonight I needed or wanted to deep clean one of our bathrooms. It is my daughter's bathroom. It doesn't get super dirty since she's the one primarily using this bathroom. So usually I just do a basic, you know, bathroom cleaning, but usually about once a month I like to do a really deep clean and get everything clean, scrub the cabinets, really scrub the tub and toilet. So I thought I would bring you guys along. I really can tell that I need to deep clean the bathrooms when I see marks, just water marks and toothpaste marks and whatever else on the cabinets. So I usually like to scrub those down. I did a mixture, I had already had this mixture ready, a cleaner of Murphy's oil soap and water. So you wanna dilute the Murphy's oil soap and it cleans up the cupboards really good, makes them shiny and gets off anything that's on them. Next up, it was time to clean the toilet, and I just used Method's antibacterial bathroom cleaner and then the Clorox wand to get the toilet bowl. And I, I use microfiber cloths for cleaning everything else, but a lot of times, or sometimes I'll use them when I clean the toilet, but a lot of times I will just use paper towels and I keep a little grocery, throwaway grocery bag right there so I can discard them. And sometimes it's just easier and more sanitary and I will do that. So to really deep clean the toilet, I like to take Q-tips and get in all the nooks and crannies around the little whatever it is that holds the lid. It's one of my pet peeves. It drives me crazy. Like my eyes zero in on that part of the toilet and I just liked it clean. So I like to use Q-tips and I just love the way it looks when it's all done and clean.
deep cleaning my tub is kind of a two-step process. I first take a magic eraser and rub that all along the sides and in the tub. And I just find that it does a really good job of getting a lot of stuff off that I can't with a normal rag. And then I follow that up with just a normal tub and tire, tile cleaner. Mrs. Myers is what I use with a rag and just go through with a really another really good clean. And I focus mainly on the actual bathtub because my daughter takes baths. Nobody is getting showers. So I just mainly focus on the bottom part of this. Then it was time to get the floors, so I just used my Dyson vacuum to clean up the floor and vacuum, and then I went in with my Shark Steam Up and really cleaned the floors. So the last part of my bathroom deep cleaning routine, I like to go in and really get the baseboards around the toilet on the floor and the doors in the bathroom. So I just did my cleaner, my Murphy's oil cleaner that I use on the cabinets and went around and just really scrubbed. Since we have white baseboards, they get pretty dusty and dirty. And then, like I said, around the toilet, I like to get there and then just go up around the trim, around the doors and just get all of the dirt and dust off from all of the trim and doors. I do like to take some vinegar and water and spray down the shower curtain and that helps clean it, refreshen it between washes. And that's it guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like my deep cleaning videos. And I actually have a plan for after the new year to deep clean and declutter my master bathroom. So definitely stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.